Evil Atho one here, guys, and yes, there is a video suddenly being uploaded. Wow. Finally got my uh, button gear to do upload a video now. Um, so we're going to be do taking on Dark Visions. We are not going to be taking all the bosses. What we are just going to be going in and taking on is just the main top stages. The one week before we're not going to be taking on. So kind of like the stage two of them. We're just going to be blasting our way through. We will talk about the units at the end of the video. So kind of like the teams I've been using. This is a fairly easy Dark Vision since they are all humans, so you just need to gear up for your main damage dealers for human killers. And just switch around some elemental you need to utilize for the different stages. And it's a fairly easy Dark Visions. It's actually a, kind of like a nice easy Dark Visions. So I hope you do enjoy this little video. And do keep in mind we don't have the final stage just open yet. So sit back and enjoy yourself just seeing how I'm just blessing through, basically wailing my uh, but through it.
So now let's talk about the physical damage dealer teams. Now the team's going to be very similar throughout when it comes to physical damage. There's just going to be some slight changes depending on the element that needs to be done. This particular bar, it's Earth, so we're using Vanilla Fort. You can also utilize Sylvie Fort since you can also decrease Earth Elemental and add Earth Elemental to all physical damage dealers. So we, I just decided to go over Vanilla, and I'm just making sure she is. Uh, balanced throughout element resistance, just kind of like natural, uh, so there's no weaknesses, just making it much more easier since we are using Elena for it. Gear wise, it's some leftovers from a pre uh, previous Dark Vision event some time ago, but she is still great. Um, our main damage shield is going to be Tifa and Sephiroth, of course. Um, both of them are EX3, so mine are going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, I decided to go for a true double hand build. Um, she should do more damage as a true double hander but i do think if i build her true dual wield i would get some significant more attack power up there so she should do do more damage as a true dual wielder but true double hand was more than enough what it was needed for she did quite a bit of damage and of course we got her card as well and we make sure we have 300 percent human killer and 300 percent increased limbers damage we are going to be using Sephiroth and Tifa's uh, base form of the Limber's Damage. That is where it has a 300 times multiplier instead of their Brave Shift form where you need to stack it. Given how easy these particular bosses are, there's no reason to be stacking up Limit Burst. So straightforward, doing damage. Elena is an incredible Dark Vision unit. If you have not been using her, I highly recommend it. She's, gonna, she's kind of like become my main stable of a unit who's going to be permanent in Dark Visions because... In her shifted form, she has this particular ability that gives 100% elemental resistance to the entire team. It means I don't need to build elemental resistance to my rest of my units. It just makes it so much more easier. And for the most part, when it comes to these easiest ones, you're beating them within about two or three turns. Heck, five turns is more than enough for most of it. She's also going to be my 100% draw unit, 100% evade unit as well. Now, granted, I could make sure that her base form had more power. But it's just my laziness that I don't have to readjust her over and over. She's not going to do that more damage, but it's something you could do if you're trying to squeeze out a bit more uh, damage overall. Straightforward, she has been adjusted a little bit for this particular one since she has 200% human killer in her kit. And once again, making sure the element of resistance across the board is neutral. We are using Lauren. Um, we are going to be chaining with the physical damage dealers with the SR family. And she does have a quite powerful SR frame. Um, so that's why I'm using her uh, as my chainer to help to hit that uh, over 100 chain damage. Um, she's not going to be doing a ton of damage. So I'm not getting her absolutely crazy. But she is going to be having about 200% human killer. Maybe I squeezed a bit more human killer in there. But... There's not much of a reason for it. So, this is fine. She's going to be doing great to chain up the SR family. And of course, we have Sephiroth, just like with Tifa. They are built with 300% human kill and 300 limb burst damage increase. And of course, we are just using their base forms. We're not using their shift forms. And we just make sure to stack them all up as much damage as possible he could do for them. Their limb versus of the base forms are still really powerful. And then, of course, we have White Dragon Ling. White Dragon Ling is really just making Dark Vision so damn easy because of the ability she gives to the entire team. And we can easily hit the 100 chains because of her. Gear wise, I have not done anything special to her. Um, but again, this is another area where I could maybe have added a bit more damage if it's needed. But again, I'm just making sure as much as I can the element of resistance as much neutral as possible. There's a bit of a weakness there, but. It, it never became a problem for me doing this fight. So that is basically my physical damage dealer team. And finally, we do have the magic damage dealers. There will be some changes throughout as I'm fighting the bosses. Do keep that in mind, depending on the elements that's needed. But mostly it's this same team. We're using White Dragonling, of course. Same build as before, nothing special. But again, we are focusing mostly on Chaos Way family, and she just gives that to the entire team. Just a great unit for it. And then we're using Terra. Um, she doesn't have any particular uh, Chaos Ways we can utilize. So we're just relying on the White Dragon, and it's because we can boost up some of her magic stats pretty decently. And we have given her some Man Eater Killers 
in her kit as well. So she's hitting 150, but again, she's not going to be our main damage dealer. It is just one of the ways we could use her. She's just there for the chaining. And once again, we are using Elena. Same build as before, nothing different. Same as before. Just an incredible unit on both sides. And then we're using Louise. Now, Louise we're using because we have the new unit Yikni. I think that's how the name is pronounced. If it's wrong, do correct me in <laughs> the comments below. It will not be the first time I've slaughtered names. <laughs> and most likely it will not be the last time. Now, Louise is very easy to hit up with um, killers since she already has 200% killers for everything. So hitting 300 is very easy. So we've just been building up, staying up with quite a bit of power. So she's going to be doing um, basically just four times cast with her Chaos Wave move here and just do some damage. Straightforward, great unit, especially alongside with Yigni. Yigni, Yigni, yeah, that's how we go with it. And now I think this is the guy, I think it is, this little cute mogul on a ghost. Uh, we are utilizing his Super Team R with the daggers because he can decrease darker, uh, the dagger resistance. Um, if I kind of have to give my very short thoughts when I, when I think about this unit, I, I really like him. I think he's actually a pretty good unit. It's a little bit refreshing having a unit that doesn't acquire his limbers for anything. It's his all his power comes from his chaining, and he has such high numbers. It's just it's just wonderful. And add in he has that beautiful little magic attack with that little star on it, so you can add whatever element you want in his base form. His shift form is of course where there's a lot more power, but that's where he's then limited to dark elemental attacks. So he's a pretty good balance in unit, but it also very much thanks to his finisher move that just comes in with a ton of damage. Like, but damn, this unit hits hard and has a five times cast. So he is really a fun unit. I like him a lot. It was hard to resist this particular unit. He's going to be great for a lot of dark visions and some other cow events. So he also has a moral based attacks as well in his kit. So quite flexible unit to be utilizing. And of course, we added as many killers as we possibly could. We also have the vision card for him. And we added 300% human killers since he is going to be our main damage dealer for this particular team. And our final unit is going to be Aerith. Now, Aerith, against this particular boss we're going with, we are using her Limit Burst to cast uh, Element to the entire team so they can do Light Sacks. But in theory, you could easily utilize her Holy Attack as well, reflect it and do damage, and she will no doubt have an easy time to cap that as well. But I just find it easy when you got White Dragon Ling to just give Chaos Wave to the entire team, and let's just chain it and be over with. Just a lot easier. Gear-wise, yeah, that is where she's built to have quite a bit of MP in department. I will say in her Brave Shift form, I could have given her a different card, so we're going to increase, like her own card, for example, increase our magic stat a little higher, but this is fine. She's going to do quite a bit of damage, and we even added about 225% human killer in there, so she's going to be doing very well for us. So that is the team, and that is the Espers. And we are done with this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it and found some enjoyment in it seeing me how beating the team, even though it's basically almost cop and paste how I was beating throughout it. But the Dark Vision in particular was a lot more easier since it was one type throughout. And also things you have now, Elena, she just makes Dark Vision a million times easier now. So you don't need to build the element of resistance on your team. Highly recommend utilize her for the arc vision. She is incredible and just makes it so much easier to just blast your way through. Really a great unit for uh, Dark Vision. Oh, King Behemoth works also great. We only need to build 20% elementary assistance on the units. Uh, there's other ways, but generally Elena is just incredible for it. So yeah, just having a lot of fun with this one and experimenting a little bit with this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you're wondering when I start playing Final Fantasy Brave Exodus again, I have been taking a break from it for about eight to nine months. I returned in the beginning. Uh, I'm a little unsure how, when the fifth anniversary began, but I returned um, the day that White Dragon Ling and Louise Spanner came up. That's when I returned and started playing the game. So it's been a long break and then it's been, um, it's been refreshing kind of staying away from the game. But as time went on, I was starting to miss the game a lot more and more and more. And just being part of the community and talking about some of the units and 
This is some of the crap that's been happening. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's kind of weird you've been gone for so long. And when you've been gone for so long, you can't return back to the game. It feels refreshing to see some of the updates they've done to the game. It's so much more easier to set up your units because of the killer ads. And uh, you can search a lot more of evasion gear and stuff like that. Um, that has been pretty nice. So it feels like, whoa, it was a roller coaster returning to the game. And also remember all your TMs and Super TMRs. Jesus. That was, that was a big challenge. Uh, trying to get back and trying to remember all your gear. <laughs> that was a lot tough. But, um, it's also kind of like got disheartened to see. Oh, yeah, and Segor's still here. Hi, buddy. Yes, you are happy. Yeah, he's here. He's doing fine. He's big and fluffy as ever. Yes, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh, coming and disturbing as always. You're a good boy. So, yeah, uh, Gumi is still doing the Gumi things, and... I'll try to see if I can upload some stuff. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a little more comfortable understanding what the meta is and where things are going when we're looking at the JP side, what's happening. So it's 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 both sad with some of the things that are happening, especially um, at the maintenance we're getting the, what was that, crown material now that's going to be even more tougher now to enhance uh, so many units uh, because it's going to be, we're going to be getting so limited of them. But that's just how Gumi is running it. We'll see how it's gonna go, and we're just gonna take a day at a time and let's just enjoy ourselves. And hopefully, it, uh, you enjoyed this little video. So, yeah. So, let's see if I still remember this. Alright, so please like and subscribe for the channel so we can laugh together in the darkness. <laughs>